we have already learned about the power rule for differentiation for differentiation for differentiation for example we know derivative with respect to x of x squared when you evaluate it you're going to just bring this 2 down so you're going to have 2 times x and you're going to subtract 1 from this 2 to get 2x we already know this and more general way of writing this is derivative with respect to x of x to the nth power is same thing as n times x to the n minus 1 we know this now I want to figure out the power rule but not for differentiation but for integration for integration let's take an example let's say someone asks you what's the integral of x dx again all this is asking you is what function uh, what function find find a function such that such that when you differentiate the function that is the f prime of x you get x that's all this thing is asking so so you can think about this you may guess maybe x squared because when you differentiate x squared what you get you get 2x so that's pretty close to x but not quite so how can we make this uh, turn out to be x by dividing by 2 hey now what do you get when you differentiate x squared over 2 if f of x is x squared over 2 f prime of x is 2 over 2 times x which is x hey that's good so x squared over 2 and we gotta make sure we put the constant of integration because derivative of constants is zero that's much more general than one specific solution so we know integral of x dx is x squared over 2 plus c how about integral of x squared dx now you may say let's start with x cubed but if you differentiate x cubed you get 3x squared so you can divide it by 3 to get x squared plus c okay maybe you're seeing some pattern how about x cubed dx well let's start with x to the fourth and if you differentiate x to the fourth you're gonna get 4x cubed so dividing by 4 is going to do it plus c and hopefully maybe you realize that the exponent is one more than the exponent inside the integrand integrand so what's inside is called the integrand and uh, as you can tell the exponent of the our of our solution is one more than the answer for the uh, one more than the exponent inside in this case 2 plus 1 gets you 3 and 3 plus 1 gets you 4 and hopefully you maybe you also realize you're dividing by the same thing as the exponent for the answer so that's x cubed and you're dividing by 3 x to the fourth and you're dividing by 4 so if someone comes up to you and asks you what's the integral of x to the nth dx let's compare this you want to add 1 to the exponent and you want to divide by the same thing n plus 1 then put plus c okay let, let's try differentiating this side of it to verify it what this is asking you is find find f of x such that f prime of x is equal to x to the nth and we are proposing that f of x such f of x is x to the n plus one power over n plus one plus c let's let's verify it what's what's the derivative of x to the n plus one over n plus one plus c well n plus 1 goes down so you have 1 n plus 1 over n plus 1 2 times x to the n plus 1 minus 1 which is just 10 and derivative of constant is 0 and n plus 1's cancel out so you have x to the nth hey that's good but but you may you may ask me what happens what happens when n is equal to negative 1 and what does happen you have integral of x to the negative 1 dx which is integral of 1 over x dx these two are the same thing 1 over x and x to the negative 1 you get x to the negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 1 plus c or x to the 0 over 0 plus c you are dividing by 0 that's that's undefined so what is going on for x to the negative 1 and I'm not going to get into it for now you don't have to worry about it but later we are going to I'm going to show you the integral of 1 over x dx is actually natural log of absolute value of x plus c